So the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee have just announced that there will be no further change to bank base rate this month, opting to hold the rate at the 5% level. The MPC voted by a majority of 8 to 1 to maintain the bank base rate at 5%, with one dissenting member voting to reduce the rate further by 0.25%. After the Federal Reserve in the US took a more aggressive stance and cut its benchmark interest rate for the first time in four years by 0.5% on Wednesday and signalled that more reductions would follow, some held out a faint hope that the Bank of England would continue with its own reduction. The reality, however, was that a further cut this time around was never really on the cards, as this week's inflation figures acted to temper expectations from those overexcited that bank base cuts would come thick and fast. In reality, it was always likely that nothing more would happen until at least November, when market expectation is for a further 0.25% cut, with another possibly following shortly after. So the Bank of England has acted true to form, opting for caution rather than a more assertive approach many had hoped for. With core and services inflation still proving stubbornly sticky and a budget waiting anxiously in the wings, opting to hold far until November could be seen as a sensible approach. Markets have, however, priced in a further cut this year and mortgage lenders are now well entrenched in a competitive rate war that may now see them dig in rather than foray too far forward just yet. Lenders will be hoping they can finish the year strongly in what has been a disappointing lending market this year, whilst borrowers will however be frustrated that their monthly costs will not be reducing too much further. However, with five-year fixed rates now available at around the 3.77% level, whilst two-year fixes have also fallen below 4%, it will still be a competitive time in both the mortgage and housing markets. The question now is whether those that decide to wait for further reductions before buying will find any potential saving more than wiped out by increasing house prices as demand continues to return to the housing market.